Hello, let's look at a medication called Incresync. This is a combination with a DPP-4 inhibitor, which is alogliptin, together with a pioglitazone, that is a tiazolidindione. So we know we can give alogliptin 25 milligram once daily. And we will do that with Incresync also. So Incresync can be given 25 milligram forward slash, then 30 milligram of pioglitazone or 45 milligram of pioglitazone, depending on how much we want. If we have a kidney insufficiency, then we need to give less of Incresync, then we need to give 12.5 milligram of alogliptin forward slash, uh, for example, uh, 30 milligram of pioglitazone or 45 of pioglitazone. And this is when we have kidney insufficiency, which means around 30 to 60 milliliter per minute of GFR. Everything above 60 is the normal dose one, once daily. Everything that is 30 to 60 milliliter, then we give this uh, half dose of alogliptin. And if we have less than 30 milliliter per minute, then it's contraindicated because pioglitazone is not allowed to be given in kidney insufficiency of less than 30 milliliter per minute. Alogliptin is, so when we give alogliptin alone, which is for example, we dealt with that in another video, Vipedia. So Vipedia is alogliptin alone. Then we can go down as long as 6.25 milligram for a GFR, which is less than 30 milliliter per minute. Remember this. But because of pioglitazone, we are not allowed to give Incresync below 30 milliliter per minute. So please remember that. We, we know we have different combinations of alogliptin. Today we're discussing Incresync. We have the uh, Vipedia, which is alogliptin alone. And then we have alogliptin together with metformin. That could be Vipdomet. So we have different names here. And the United States and Europe have also a different names. For example, Incresync would be called Oseni. Very interesting name. So these are very strange names that is hard to remember actually. Uh, the main uh, thing for a doctor is actually to remember the substance name. The, that's the most important. So please remember alogliptin can be given together with a pioglitazone and that's it. Then you need to remember the groups as we said. Uh, alogliptin was the DPP4 inhibitor and the pioglitazone was the tiazolidine deal. And the combination that can be uh, given with Incresync is, for example, metformin. So then we have actually uh, alogliptin, a pioglitazone, and a metformin. The ones that you should not combine Incresync with is another DPP4 inhibitor, because we already have one, alogliptin. Please don't add another one. Uh, please don't add the GLP-1 agonist together with this because GLP-1 agonist and DPP-4 agonist actually do the same thing, but they don't have an additive effect, meaning it's useless. It's, it's not good. So don't do DPP-4, don't do with GLP-1 and don't combine with insulin and don't combine with sulfonylurea. Combine it either with, uh, uh, so rather with metformin. Please remember this. Let's look at which side effects do we have of increasing. We have, for example, headache, then we can have blurred vision, we have nasopharyngitis, we can have upper respiratory tract infection. So I'm going from uh, upwards to then downwards. Then we have, for example, acute pancreatitis, we can have increased liver enzymes, uh, then we can have uh, uh, bladder cancer, bladder cancer, this is very interesting, bladder cancer, but this is all rare side effects. Please don't be afraid. Whenever I'm talking about side effects, these are very rare. You will not get bladder cancer, okay? This is one in I don't know how many thousand, and this is really rare, so you don't have to be afraid of that. So bladder cancer, then we have low back pain, orthalgias, we, meaning we have joint pain. It can be skin, uh, pruritus we call it, so it's skin reddening. There can also be weight gain, weight gain with this type and also uh, hypoglycemia. We, we usually know that weight is actually neutral or reduced with the DPP-4 inhibitors. But since we have a pioglitazone here, then we also can see weight gain. So due to the pioglitazone. But otherwise, please remember that the DPP-4 inhibitors are very good for keeping the weight or actually reducing the weight. Which are the contraindications? When are we not allowed to give Incresync? So alogliptin or pioglitazone. For example, uh, the, the common one for both of these substances would be heart failure, type 3 or 4, or liver insufficiency, type 1 diabetes, 
diabetic ketoacidosis. This would be the common ones. And then for, for example, pioglitazone, we would then have uh, macrohematuria or bladder cancer. This is two that would be uh, more for pioglitazone due to pioglitazone contraindication. And then we would have acute pancreatitis for alogliptin. So these are the main contraindications that can be seen for both medications and then some special for pioglitazone and some are special for alogliptin. I think this will be enough for today. I think, thank you very much for listening and have a nice day. Bye bye.